ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Rag O' Mag. Tonight's show, we got a special for you. Terra in the Trenches by Vaughn Claus. So without further ado, may I introduce to you, Mr. Q. Good evening and welcome back to Rag or Mag. Um, I'm really excited about tonight. Uh, we're going to be doing Terror in the Trenches by Vaughn Claus. Um, if you haven't heard of him, I would suggest you look him up. He's actually one of the, uh, what I would consider one of the better writers in Comicsgate today. So, uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? As always, we're going to start with the art. That's the thing I always, generally speaking, that I always start with. Um, so let me bring up another page here so you guys, well, first of all, let me show you the the uh, the cover is actually super sick. I'm a big fan of when people do this. You can see here it's like matte in the black here, and you can feel it too. It's matte, and then uh, the this shiny uh, logo there, which is very nice. The material, the quality is just so per. The pages, oh my god, they're so good. <clears throat> anyway, um, another nice thing that he did is in the, in the inside there. He uh, he says. Long live the Iron Age of Comics, which is very nice. And then it says special thanks to Razor Fist and Comicsgate, which is also very cool. Never forget. Never forget who supports you. Um, so, yeah, let us uh, let me bring up a page here. Eh, I'll just do this one. It's a, Maybe it's a little bit of a cheap shot here, but I, I'm not a, I don't like the art very much. This is um, more mm, cartoony, I would say, um, than what you would consider in classic comic books. Um, and like I said last time when I did the Fiendish review, I'm much more of a fan of classic comic book art than uh, than the kind of cartoony style. Um, I do understand that this this person is talented, obviously, and there's some pictures here I'm going to show you that, that are like proof of that. Um, but I just, personally, it's not my favorite style. Um, so let's see here. One of the favorite, one of my favorite pictures here. Let's get that out of the way. There's this point at which this Nazi woman uses a bomb and uh, this explosion picture. I've only like captured a very small portion of it because um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give this guy's art all away. Um, but this was a really cool shot that I loved particularly. Um, so yeah, let's get into the story then, shall we? Because I don't really have anything nice to say about the art. As for the story, um, we're introduced to Black Terror. Um, people know that Black Terror was a, uh, well, you might know and you might not know, but he was a character, um, who published him? Was it D DC Comics? I'm not certain. But anyway, he's just a character that has, uh, gone into the public domain and has not really been done very well. And so Von Claus decided he was going to pick up the character, the, the character's reins and, and, uh, tell a good story with him. Um, so in the story, we're introduced again to Black Terror. Um, he's retired from killing Nazis during World War II. Um, to become a doctor uh, somewhere in Detroit. No, wait. Uh, it's not Detroit. I just uh, saw all the rubble and I assumed. Anyway, we have flashbacks of his terror days um, and that we see in some circumstances he um, went a little too far, like war crimes type, a little too far. Um, anyway, this is where the story really picks up as the Nazis apparently weren't too particularly happy um, with all the things that he, <laughs> with the way that he treated them. Um, so they sent an assassin to blow him in a few city blocks sky high, and that was that picture I showed you earlier. Well, they've got right up here of uh, Frau, as I call her, exploding. Um, I don't know what her actual name is, and I don't. it also doesn't specify if she is dead after this picture, because I've seen some concept art for this character, and it implies that her power is exploding. So it's like, is that a one-time thing? <laughs> It's not a very useful power if it's a one-time thing. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of when I was a kid, I had uh, my first superhero. His name was Pumpkin Man. And uh, his power was taking off his body parts and throwing them, and they would explode. Um, so, you know, I really can't really say anything about that. Um, so, anyway, they blow the, the, the city block sky high in his whole, uh, you know, his doctor's um, office, I suppose killing one of his war friends in the process. Um, and then that's when these ugly guys show up, these, like, new... How, how do Germans say soldiers? Panzer something or other. Okay, look. They're, like, top-level super soldiers, I guess. Um, anyway. 
I don't really want to go any further into the story because you should buy the book and read it yourself. Um, especially if you're interested so far, which you should, I mean, there's lots of things I don't show when I do these reviews because I think that one of the best parts of experiencing a comic book is you seeing it for the first time on the page. So I try to like choose like the second best pictures and things to show you so you don't see the best stuff. Also, I would highly recommend some apple juice to anybody and everybody. You want to do some ASMR apple juice? I'm just kidding. It's creepy. Um, the story is very straightforward. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's like, uh, you know, mind bending. Um, but it's, uh, certainly like it's there. That's really the best I would say. I'm not going to say it's the greatest story of all time, but, um, this is also only part one of what I think is a three part series. So I can't expect it to end after one issue. Um, so anyway, I guess that's, that's what I'd like to say there. Um, in regards to story, though, dialogue, that's, an, uh, that's always something I always like to talk about. The dialogue here is excellent. That's one of Von Claus's uh, greatest gifts is, is the way he writes dialogue is natural. It makes sense for the characters, and uh, it doesn't raise any eyebrows. There's a lot of people who write dialogue, um, especially the artist-turned-writer guys, um, where like, a lot of eyebrows raised on the way these people talk. Um, but not here. No. No, sir. Um, let's move on to characters. So we all know that Black Terror and Lady Satan, I should mention, by the way, Lady Satan is in this as well. Um, seriously, though. Lady Satan? Lady Satan? And she's a good guy, too. It's like if you if your name was Mr. Bad Guy and you were, like, the most moral person on the planet. That's not really Lady Satan. But anyway. Um, I'm pretty. I'm sure that a lot of the other characters, other than those two, I'm pretty sure those were designed by Von Claus, not characters that he took from the comic. I'm I'm fairly certain. Um, and all of these updates to the characters are they're they're good. They look nice. They make sense. Lady Satan, while I I tend to roll my eyes at the name, she does have these like um, high heel guns, which are super cool. Gotta love those. And she does like this kind of magic gunplay stuff which is very it's cool um although my favorite character let me show a picture here i should show more pictures here i'm doing a terrible job here let me show you a good picture here this is his th I, i'm gonna call it the throne of terror it's essentially this chair he sits in in his sanctum sanctorum um and that's when he like inhales the uh the toxins of his terror gas so that he can gain his superpowers um Let's see here. There's this is a picture of Lady Satan doing her gunplay stuff. Um, you know she's like flying through the air, shooting people. Um, it's pretty cool. And then this character though is one of my favorites that he's introduced so far, and I'm excited to see where she goes from here. I don't know what her name is, but it's this like Russian sniper woman. So I'm just gonna call her Sniper Wolf for now, cheekily. Um, she's really cool. If you can, I don't know if I can zoom in. If I zoom in, it's going to be weird. Um, but her eye, essentially, is like a cyborg eye, and she can see through walls and things. Um, and, you know. So that's super cool. I just I like that design a lot. Um, all the designs of the characters that he made um, are super interesting. Let's see here. Can I show you a... Um, yeah. This is the, the main villain of the story. Um, so you see he's kind of got the Nazi look but it's like modernized and slightly unnazified to make it a little more he's more of a generic villain than just a, just a pure you know german nazi um <clears throat> all right uh here i'll I, th there's an example here of something i wanted to show you too where it was what i consider dubious action um this right here this is before so the idea is that when black terror inhales his smoke <laughs> he uh, he gains his superpowers and then he can do all this kind of crazy shit the one issue I s had with that storytelling aspect was that in the very beginning when he shows up on that that uh, that front in uh, World War II you see right here he's like blowing through that plane and then landing 
through the sky, like, but he didn't inhale his smoke yet. And then he inhales it right as after he gets after he lands. So it's like, how did he do that? Anyway, that's a minor issue. But I see these things, and then I have to notice. I have to comment on them. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like this is a. Uh, I feel like when I do reviews like this, I, I'm a lot less harsh than I could be. Um, I can be very, I'm a very, I can be a very harsh person as people who like know me personally know. Um, and I haven't been so harsh because I don't want to shit on people, um, you know, when they're doing their best and I don't want to, uh, shit on people who I appreciate for the things that they're doing, creating this art to begin with. I appreciate it. Um, but, uh, Ethan Van Skyver made a strong point in one of the podcasts he did recently where he was podcast. He says one of his streams he did recently where, uh, essentially, you know, it was in regards to this whole Ethan Van Skyver, Eric July drama. Um, and it's about the reviews and, uh, he made a good point. I'm going to paraphrase here, but the idea is that a review from somebody who hates you and picks apart your shit um, is actually of more value. It's 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 more useful to you um, as the artist who's trying to get better than a review that softballs it. And um, so, like, I agree with that, and I am guilty. I'm one of those people who's guilty of softballing reviews, I would say. And so I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to be real harsh. <laughs> And then there's going to be people like, who the, who the hell do you think you are, dude? Who are you to be this harsh? And it's going to be like, I'm, I'm just trying to be honest. All right. So, okay. So let's be harsh then, shall we? The art, I don't like it at all. It's cartoony. It doesn't – I feel like the, the seriousness of the subject matter would be better uh, relayed with different art, with more serious art. Um and I'm not saying that this person isn't a professional. They need to be, they need to be a serious professional. No, that's not what I'm saying. It's, they're all different styles. They're just different styles. Um, and this style is, I don't think it lends very well to the story that Von Claus is trying to tell. So there, I was harsh. Are you happy? I'm not happy. I feel mean. Anyway, that's my review. Um, so the real question then is, is this a rag or a mag? And I can say, I, I, I'm i honest when I say I want to buy this next one. I want to know how the story goes from here. I'm interested to see what the characters do. Um, I like the concept of Black Terror. I think that, uh, I think that this is, um, I think this is something that could go farther than just the three issues that are planned. Um, and I actually really like Von Kloss's other work as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the second one. Um, but now I think is the most important thing. I wanted to discuss all of the, all that drama surrounding, uh, you know, there's always some drama, either it's with Eric July, with Ethan Van Skyver, or it's with party time, Patrick, or it's with the fact that, you know, that Shane Davis obviously lost, uh, to John Malin, um, for raising money for his, uh, Inglorious Rex too. Um, but I think, I think I have a way of summing it all up, and uh, I, I hope you guys will stick with me here as I explain to you um, what everybody else is doing wrong and what they ought to do. So essentially, the first thing people need to be doing is... Yeah.